above Regent Street, on the roof of the Gallery Lafayette, we meet the greatest woman lawn tennis player of all time, Suzanne Longlin, who won the World Championship at Wimbledon six times before she turned professional. She shows the interested spectators how she holds her racket. And here's a close-up of her grip for a forehand stroke. Then she demonstrates how she follows through when playing this shot. The grip for the backhand. And a few practice shots which reveal all her remarkable timing and variety of strokes. Forehand, backhand, backhand, and a very low backhand. Backhand again, forehand, excellent shots. Here's an idea many might adopt. Practice on a half-sized court enables Suzanne to hit just as hard and yet makes accuracy even more necessary than ever. And another tip for practice, hitting the ball against a wall. You notice it always strikes about 18 inches above the line which represents the net. And though it rebounds with force, Suzanne, always famous for her agility, is ready for it. Remember, she has only half the normal time to play a shot when practicing this way. So that this method of training, which is used by many famous champions, helps in improving agility and footwork, and above all, speed, which is so essential in modern lawn tennis. The slow motion camera, the most efficient teacher of all games, enables us to analyze the play of Suzanne in detail. See her make a few high shots. Observe how she always maintains a perfect balance and then throws the weight of her body behind each drive. And above all, notice how her eyes watch the ball right up to the racket and then follow it as it flashes across the net. She hits with all the power of a man, but it was her accuracy in placing a ball out of her opponent's reach which made her invincible in tournament play. Now she is a professional and we cannot see her in competitive tennis at the big meetings. But as this sport shot of Suzanne, as she is today, shows you, she can still rank as one of the giants of the game. <laughs>